Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So today's gonna be a quick tip and we're gonna be talking about grubs. Now I know I probably put in the title grub worms. They're not actually worms. The reason I put grub worms in there is because it's a term that people search for. So think of it like an SEO value. But the long and the short of it is the reason you might be searching for that right now is maybe you found some grubs in your lawn or landscape here in the spring and you're wondering if they're gonna do damage and what you could use to get rid of them or if you should in the first place. So in order for me to give you the tips that you need, let me explain the lifestyle and the life cycle of the grub. Grubs are the larvae of Japanese beetles, also called June bugs, mask shaper beetles. They go by a lot of names, but you know what they look like, especially if you have a pool, you'll find them in your pool filter in the early summer. But that's the summertime. Let's take it back to spring, where we're at right now. So you're finding these grubs in your lawn. What those are is those are grubs from last year. They're gonna hatch sometime in May or June, which is why they're called June bugs, and turn into those beetles that you see flying around. Now those beetles do cause damage. They love to chew on purple plums, sand cherries. For sure they like to chew on your roses. I've seen them on Rosa Sharon and many other trees and shrubs. But they're not just eating in June and July. The other thing they're doing is they're zooming around and they're laying eggs, fresh eggs, in well-watered, beautiful lawns like yours. Those eggs that they lay in summer hatch and become fresh grubs that feed on grass roots all during the late summer and into the fall. And in fact, they'll continue feeding all the way into even early winter, depending where you live. When the ground begins to freeze, they burrow down deep and they wait over winter. Then the next spring, they emerge again, feed just a little bit, and that's what you're finding now. And then they hatch out again in late May and June, becoming June bugs, and the cycle starts all over again. So the thing to realize there is, is that grubs do most of their damage in the late summer and the fall time, not necessarily the spring. In the spring, of course, they might be taking a couple extra bites here and there but the thing to realize about spring is that is when your grass your turf is most vigorously growing especially if you have cool season turf and so any small amount of damage that they may do in the spring the grass grows right through it so there's no need for a chemical intervention at that point now I know you're still gonna find grub and insect treatments on the shelves at your local stores and that's because they realize they can cash in on you by selling you grub treatments but this is just a little bit too early now I have a lot more for you but let me just stop right here and say the grubs that you're finding in your lawn right now do not need to be treated, just leave them be, let them turn into June bugs. But realize if you're finding them in your lawn now, when they hatch and grow, it isn't like they're gonna fly 10 miles away. They're probably gonna stay right in that same vicinity and they're gonna lay fresh eggs right in that same spot because they love to raise their babies in their own hometown. And so that's where we need to talk about the different products that you could use to treat. There are two types of products that you'll find to treat grubs. There's preventative and there's corrective. The preventative is what you're gonna want to treat the grubs for this season. The ones that are gonna do that damage in late fall and spring, you're gonna to wanna to put a preventative down for them. And you're gonna apply that sometime here in late April and May. The reason being is you need the preventative to get down into the soil and be absorbed by the grass plants so that way that when the grubs are in the lawn, the grass is already protected. The turf has already got that barrier so to speak, set up so that when the grubs begin to feed, they die. So a preventative is just that. It has to be put down to prevent the damage, which means it has to be put down before the damage occurs. There are two main ingredients that you're gonna find. The first one that you're gonna find, and it's a little bit more old school these days, is called Merit, which is actually a brand name. The active ingredient is imidacloprid. Now you're not gonna find that in a lot of the country because a lot of folks are concerned that it may be linked to death in honeybees. I'm not here to take one side or the other on that. I'm just here to present you with information. But if that's all you can find, just know that imidacloprid or Merit will work great for grubs and give you about three months of protection. The active ingredient imidacloprid is known as a neonicotinoid. Does that sound familiar to you? You hear that word in there? Nicotinoid, nicotine? The chemical makeup is similar to nicotine and then you of you who have been a smoker in your life, you know that nicotine is an appetite suppressant. And that's how it works with grubs. You get the neonicotinoid down, in this case, imidacloprid, into the lawn. It's watered into the soil. The grass plants take it in. That way, when June bugs lay eggs in your soil and those eggs hatch into grubs and they begin to feed on grass roots, they immediately fill full and they no longer eat and they die of starvation. Imidacloprid will give you about three months of protection, which is fine. If you put that down anytime in mid to late May, you're gonna be all the way good through the summer because once you get past August, the June bugs are gone, there's no more flying around, and therefore no more threat of eggs being laid. Now, the other active ingredient that you'll find is chloranthropol, chloranthropol. It's a different chemistry, and you'll even see that listed as honeybee safe or safe for honeybees on certain labels and things like that. And this is the active ingredient that you're gonna find in the very common Scott's Grub X. And I recommend if you can find that, just use that. Go right to your local big box store, pick it up, and put it down. Now, the thing about chloranthropol is it takes a little bit longer for it to get down into the soil and have 
have the plants take it up. So you're gonna wanna apply this one in later April or early May to make sure that you get it in within plenty of time, especially if you're somewhere in the south where June bugs may actually come out in early May. I mean, obviously weather patterns in different parts of the country will dictate the life cycles and the patterns of the different June bugs and mass shaper beetles. So make sure you get that down sometime in April. Just go to the store, pick up the grub X and get it watered in. Now there's one other type of grub control that you're gonna find and that's called a corrective. A corrective is almost always gonna be used in the fall time. That's for those of you that didn't treat for grubs and you're coming up say in September, October sometime and you're noticing dead patches, coming out of the summer, which happens a lot because a lot of times your cool season turf especially will go naturally dormant in the summer if it doesn't get enough water, if heat gets too high, and it turns brown. But you could have grubs under their feeding and you don't know it because you just think it's brown from dormancy, but it also could be brown from death from the grubs. Then you come into fall when temperatures get a little bit cooler and you start getting rain and your lawn just doesn't start to green up. So you go out and what's the first thing you should do when you have a brown spot in your lawn? That's right, dig. You start to pull up and you'll notice that there'll be grubs underneath there and those were the guys that were causing the damage. In that case, again, you're gonna be in September, October, maybe even November, that's when you do wanna apply a corrective treatment because you don't want them to do any further damage. It's already been illustrated in your lawn at that point that they are causing visible damage, so you're gonna to have to kill them. In that case, you're gonna use a corrective treatment and you're gonna look for products that say 24-hour grub killer or kills on contact. One that you might see a lot as an active ingredient is Dilox. Another one that works just fine is a very common product called Seven, S-E-V-I-N. And there are a few others I can list on the screen. But you shouldn't have to worry about correctives in the spring at all. Those those are for the fall time. And that comes back to the final piece of advice I'll give you. If you're not finding grubs in your lawn and you haven't found them in the last couple years and your neighbors aren't talking about it or you're not seeing grub damage in your neighbor's lawns, I recommend do not treat for grub worms. My house up in Northwest Indiana, I never treated it for grub worms that I remember. And that was because it was so thick and so vigorous, it could grow through most attacks. Sure, I would find grubs in my lawn here and there, but they weren't enough there to cause any type of visible damage. That's what we call integrated pest management. And what that means is you only apply a hard control like a chemical, like an insecticide, if the insect is causing visible damage to your primary crop. In our case, our primary crop is turf grass. And if the insects are there, but they're not causing visible damage, just let them be, don't apply the chemical. That's an example of integrated pest management. So in summary, if you're finding grubs in your lawn this spring, they're not a concern. However, you should look to the next few months because if you're finding them there now, it could indicate the possibility of damage in the coming months. With that, I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.